Hey folks, in this video I want to talk to you about ice cream and give you a little bit of insight into my strategy for how I've eaten it over the last five years in large amounts, all kinds of different variety and still been able to lose weight, maintain a good level of fitness and have a great quality of life. Start with a couple of uh, slides I'll ask that you just pause and read through. First of all, this is how I did it, not a recommendation how you should do it. Uh, we obviously have a lot more involved if you're going to build a full plan. And also, take a second and look over this slide, which basically talks about the rules that I outlined for myself to get away from all the nightmares of deprivation and restrictive dieting. That will give you some insight. We'll talk more about it in future videos of how I built a plan that allowed me to have all the foods I love. So the rest of the video is really just a bunch of slides of ice cream to show you that if you really want to enjoy the foods you love, you need to learn them. And that means getting very, very well acquainted with the nutritional information as well as a variety of foods that can fit all your different moods and all your different situations and still allow you to see some weight loss and fitness over time. So the Dilly Bar is my go-to ice cream. It satisfies me with a very reasonable portion. I don't need to just pig out on it. Comparing that to uh, Ben & Jerry's, for me that's something where if I open the cart and I'm eating the whole thing. So I've labeled that an occasional luxury and I fit it in my plan strategically that way. Take a look at frozen yogurt. You'll never find it in my plan because I always prefer ice cream and frozen yogurt. It's just going to make me eat a bunch of other food to offset the frustration I feel that I'm now eating a food that you know a dieter would eat to make sure you're losing weight, which I didn't even enjoy and got no satisfaction from. Some people may love it. I do not. I would rather have ice cream in every case. So I look for other options like this Briar Heath Bar Blast, which is, okay, I want the Ben & Jerry's. I'm not going to be okay with the Dilly Bar, and I want more ice cream. So I look for options that taste similar, maybe not quite as good, but hopefully close to as good with fewer calories, carbs, and fat. And this one's half, so I can have twice the amount. And oftentimes that can really work for me. It's great to be aware of that because sometimes it'll take care of everything you need and you're enjoying the amounts you really want to enjoy. Sometimes I look for a value option, just an ice cream bar I really, really like that I can just sit and enjoy that's one portion and lower calories and fat so it might fit a certain situation at the end of a meal or later at night or something like that. And then I've also identified a red alert option, which is, look, I really don't want to be eating anything. I'm trying to, you know, manage a period of time where I want to see some weight loss, but i got to have some ice cream. It's just not going to make it otherwise. So I found this 100-calorie, very low-cal, very low-fat, uh, creamy orange ice cream that tastes great. So those are right, some ideas. There are dozens and dozens and dozens more. This is exactly what the app coming out in July is all about, just a laundry list of options that you can use to find things that will satisfy you at any given time because anytime you want food, that's food time. That's the way my diet has worked for five years and that's what the app is supposed to give you an example of and give you ideas about. Any questions, eatfit at gmail.com. Find these recorded on eatfit.com and we'll be back with more videos covering all different types of food and strategies to end the deprivation dieting nightmare and let you find a plan you can stay with long term.